off the coast of California. It's June 26th, 1975. This is one of the guys who's on the boat. His name is Rex Weiner. And he was out there with 12 of his friends. A bunch of people from Canada. And at this point, they've been at sea for about two years. In despair, we were never going to find these Russian whalers. More than that, all in the past. Paul Patrick Rex and the rest of his crew. Show me where he is. Which in June of 1975. All in. Honestly, this episode is about how we can hear 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 about how we can Okay, so it's taken me a very long time to kind of figure out how I want to package the orders, um, but I think I kind of have an idea now after watching a lot of other people's studio vlogs and stuff because it's so confusing. So anyways, I tie all of them together like that, put it here. The tissue paper is the biggest headache. Let me figure it out. So first, I'm just going to... start using scotch tape to kind of like I have so many orders I'm so thankful but like whoa it's uh I've never had to package this much before okay pretty pretty all right I've got this I've got this I'm going to take a sticker. Do it one more time. Ah! Okay. Frick. I'm so sorry, whoever's gonna get this. You know, I'm just gonna trim it. I'm sorry. Hey Lee, hey Lee, if you're watching my video, um, I apologize. Try not to waste tissue paper. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry to everyone who didn't get like a nice looking package in the beginning. Um, anytime I reopen a store, I have to like get back into the packing mood, vibe, and then also like figure out. <gasps> okay, this is this is pretty acceptable, I think. All right. Uh, yeah. Nice. Okay. Okay, I think this is, I think she's fine. I think she's, she's good. I'm gonna tie it one more time with twine, just so they get the full experience. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is so stressful. It's actually not, well, it, it is very stressful figuring this whole thing out, but what was more stressful was, um, I didn't film any of it because I was so busy and I, I could not film any of it, but the day before the store update, Sunday night and Sunday night and Monday morning was, wow, it was like amazing how much work I had just I sped through. I mean, I had to recreate the store site, um, and it was really just like, like no one has any idea how much was going on in my brain. When somebody loves me, everything was beautiful. Um, also, I just want to say, whoever bought things from the store update, thank you so so much. I really don't know how to express how thankful I am to everyone who lets me support. Okay, 
she looks a little raggedy but i actually think it looks quite cute um yeah i think it's fine yay all right so now to package the packing slip this is going to i still i'm so happy about these little today a lot of orders to get out <sighs> yesterday was the debate and a lot of other things happened besides the debate but um i just want to say if you live in america make sure you go vote um yeah so i just need to pack a lot of orders it's taking me a lot longer than I expected to pack all the orders just because I still need to get used to shipping non-flat items and packing everything and it's quite a lot but it's also fun. Los Angeles and she wanted to meet someone. In those days when women like me didn't have a lot of options. She couldn't meet a man in class. Thank you. 
is the reality of what packing orders looks like. A big humongous mess. And now I'm gonna clean everything up, get ready to go to bed because I finished all my orders from the launch. Uh, it's 12.30 a.m. This week sucked. Hello friends, let's, ooh, ooh, my tripod. Okay, let's have a little catch up session. Today is, uh, today is October 15th, Thursday. And um, last weekend, I actually went on a little trip with my family. We went up to NorCal to uh, go visit San Francisco where I go to school. Um, but things did not go as planned and if you follow my Instagram or my Twitter you know that my family got into a little car accident. Um, I, luckily we're all fine but like this piece of metal just flipped up like a, a genuine piece of metal um, flipped up from the car in front of us and hit our windshield and cracked it. And luckily no one got hurt. Um, my brother got a little scratched up and stuff but we're all okay. But it was a very stressful weekend because we had to figure out what to do with our plans after that. We were originally just going to go for Friday, Saturday, come back on Sunday, but then we had to figure out things with the car return, uh, car repair, rentals, and hotels, and it got dragged on to Monday. It could have been longer, but we just decided to come back home um, as fast as possible. So that's what happened on the weekend. Um, and so I spent yesterday Tuesday and Wednesday just kind of recovering from that ordeal and uh, getting some getting caught up on assignments and stuff. I had a midterm this week that I did pretty terribly on um, but I also feel like I just have not been in the right mental state for the past month. You guys know how it's been hard for me and anyone else amid this pandemic time. So nothing out of the ordinary just shitty things keep happening one after another um so yeah but yesterday i spent some time making a new freebie for the store update which i think will come at the end of october and i also did a i finished redoing my business card so i'm excited for that to come out because my old business card does not have the right website on it so i definitely need to get those in so I can start sending them out to people as soon as possible. So that's what's been going on. I'm going to uh, work on a new sticker sheet for the update at the end of October. I decided not to push myself too much because um, it's just been really stressful everything and I don't think I can, I don't want to like force myself to push out a bunch of sticker sheets every single update. So uh, whatever feels good for me, I will do for myself. Um, and I hope you guys are okay with that. I've been playing a lot of Fire Emblem. I played so much on our way to San Francisco and I'm I'm really in love with it. Also been doing a lot of journaling. I actually got, um, sometimes I host stationary group orders from Korea because I like ordering stationary from overseas and we split the cost of overseas shipping and stuff. So that's also been keeping me busy as orders come in, go out, I have to ship them out to people. So that's what's been happening. But yeah, thank you all for your support. I packed and shipped a few orders this morning as you saw. And now I just need to work on schoolwork and more store things but i think i think things are finally getting back on track so hopefully it will be smoothly going forward from this point on into the holiday season happy october